Hello, I'm back without a hat. Okay, this next section is very important. I want to make sure that we uh, don't get freaked out or anything. Well, we'll all stem it from what we know already. You should be familiar with this. Yes? Okay. Uh, suppose we have a graph and the y, it, uh, the line passes through y equals zero. So we can say the x inter the, the intercept here, sorry, the y intercept is zero. Okay, so it's going to go through there, so we can just ignore that. Okay. And let's say that the slope is one. So we have a line like this. Piece of cake. What we really have is y equals one x or y equals x. That's the y equals x line. Pretty straightforward. Nothing surprising here. Um, what am I getting at? All this is, is a derivative of this function here. Okay, we know that already. Let's use that as our anchor as we go through this. Now, what are all these words on the board? Okay, this is part of transformations. You can have a function, a function, it can be stretched. Okay, this is the word, stretched. Uh, you can stretch something in two ways. Uh, it can be called a compression or an expansion. Uh, within a compression, you can have a vertical compression or a horizontal compression, vertical expansion or horizontal expansion. Okay, how do we know what's what? Um, I will show you how we know, okay? Do I want you to simply memorizing this without you understanding? No, I want you to understand where it comes from so that it clicks, makes sense, and you're good. I used... Uh, um, this to show you this one graph here, okay? What I'm going to do is show you an example with this. The reason why, actually I want to get back to this for a sec. If we have y equals x, that's our slope. What I was going to get with this is that if we had f of x equals 2x, what that does to the slope is a rise of 2 and a run of 1, a rise of 2 and a run of 1, okay? So the slope, when this increases bigger than 1, this, it gets steeper, okay? Remember that. If this decreases to be smaller than 1, the slope is smaller, a rise of 1 and a run of 2, a rise of 1 and a run of 2, okay? So just common sense tells us that if this, uh, if m is greater than 1, then uh, it gets steeper. If uh, m is less than 1, it gets uh, less steep than this. Okay, why does that matter? Because this common sense we're going to apply to all this expansion stuff. Okay, I'll leave it up. All right, for example, if we have this function, now we know from before that that's, what, that's this, this graph going on forever, okay? If we were to change it to y prime, this is the, or, okay, the new function to be, um, what, uh, I just had a mind mess up. This is really um, this is really one times the absolute value of x. If we change this to two times the absolute value of x, what this does, just like here, when we change this is our m, we're changing our slope. We're going to get a new graph that looks like this. The slope is now a slope of two uh, in both directions. Okay, so. How I want you to think about this is we've changed this in a positive way. Actually, sorry. We've changed this slope, and it's um, m is greater than 1. And what has happened is that we've compressed it. Okay? Just think of uh, compressing. Okay? I'll get into more detail about that, uh, about how we know it's a vertical compression later. But this is what's happening when we, when we mess with the function. Similarly, if I had one third, 
if this is our y equals absolute absolute value of x, then this would be our one third. Okay, it opens up. This would be a vertical expansion. Oh, I uh, sorry. This would be a vertical compression. Okay. And this would be, the last one would be a vertical expansion. Okay, Mr. B makes mistakes. Remember, this is where Mr. B made a mistake. Okay, now what? You're thinking, oh my gosh, this is too crazy. Don't worry. I showed you these things. Maybe I shouldn't have. What I'm going to do is skip to the next video. I'm going to show you how we know what is a vertical compression or whatever. One of these uh, four options. Because um, even right now, I mean, it is about 11 o'clock at night and uh, a little foggy, 11.15. Um, but next video, I'll show you about how we know, how we know.